as far as, be- <laughs> um, <laughs> as, far as becoming attached, um, I was sent the the script um, and I read it and I just thought like wow like I I, I really was blown away and I just I, t- I kind of sat myself down and just said like I need to do whatever I can to make sure that I get this because yeah I I really really wanted it and you know it was it was weird it was kind of weird seeing how sim like there were a lot of similarities between me at secondary school and Lee at secondary school so that was quite striking as well. Once you signed on what was your experience like of getting to work with Oliver as the writer and director and really building your character um, within the story with him as well overall? He's amazing. I mean, he's a, he's an amazing writer, and he's an he's an amazing director, and and just a fantastic guy. He he was he was so good at making sure that everyone was was comfortable, and you know everyone knew what they were doing, and they kind of they knew what he wanted from them. Um, and yeah, he he was brilliant. You know, we we met a couple of times before before the shoot, and just sat down and kind of just talked over Lee and, you know, his, 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 his sort of life and what, what he, what he wants out of, out of, out of um, this experience. Well, not what he wants out of the experience, but what kind of, what he, what he, uh, what his goal is kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it, it was brilliant working with Ollie. I'd, I'd love to work with him again. I hope, hopefully, I'll, hopefully I will do at some point. <laughs> Also, what was it like working with the rest of the cast as well and really building your characters' relationships on set as well? It was amazing. Well, I mean, it felt like being back at school. We were, you know, it was it was me um, and a group of lads and, you know, all, all in school uniform, all at school, messing around like a bunch of school boys. <laughs> um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, all, all the lads are brilliant. Um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't have asked for a better group of mates to be to be um, to be involved in it with because they they were all just so fantastic and such lovely lads. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it was great, and all the older cast as well. It was amazing to kind of sit by and 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 watch people who you know are fantastic at what they do, doing what they do. It was it was amazing. It was a really good experience. Mm-hmm. And, um, with everything going on in real life now, with the pandemic um, going on, um, was there anything like while you were filming? Um, I'm not sure when you actually filmed the movie, but th- when you did, was it like something that you could truly relate to? Um, did you film maybe before the pandemic, or what was that process like of really relating to that part of the story? Yeah, so we we sh- we shot it about a year before before COVID hit, um, and yeah, it was it was just so weird when when it did you know when all that did start kind of happening because you know it would it had been a year prior that we'd been all together making a film about a crazy um virus that kind of takes over the world and and ev- obviously everyone was sat at home and and experiencing just that it was yeah it was really really surreal really surreal and also, what was the experience like of getting to mainly film at the school with them, the majority of the story being said at the St. Mark's um, campus? What was that experience like of mainly being on that location filming as well? Well, it was amazing. Well, like I said earlier, you know, it, it genuinely felt like we were back at school, um, you know, and it, it was, you know, obviously it would be difficult to, to film um, <laughs> stuff in a school, not in a school. So that helped, um, but yeah, it was it was really it was really really lovely. Um, the 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 exterior um, stuff of the school was all shot in a, uh, a boarding school in Ipswich, um, and that was that was lovely. That it was really really close by to uh, to the sea, I think, and um, and yeah, it was it, we had really really great weather, and they had all the facilities. They had like a swimming pool and tennis courts and stuff. So you know, any free time that we did get. Um, people would be enjoying themselves. <laughs> also, what was the experience like of really working on the action sequences for the film and really creating the physicality for your character as well? It was amazing. It was it's something I've always wanted to do. Um, and I'd always hoped that I'd be able to get the opportunity to do it and to, to you know, to, to actually get to do it. It was, it, was, um, it was really, really exciting. The stunt team that we had were fantastic. Um, mm-hmm. 
you know, I never, I never at any point kind of felt unsafe or anything like that. Um, and it was, it was weirdly like a lot easier than I thought it would be because of how professional the guys were and how much they, they kind of prep you and, and get you ready for something. And then you finally do it and you think, oh, like, actually that's, that's not as, it's not as bad as I thought. You know, I wasn't doing, I w- you know, I'm not at Tom Cruise's level. I wasn't jumping out of airplanes and <laughs> hanging off buildings and stuff, mm-hmm. but, but yeah, it was really, it was really exciting. <laughs> While I was watching the film, I also liked that there were some moments of humor as well. And what was that experience like of really maybe mixing the humor with the action as well overall? It was nice. Yeah, it was It was really, really nice. It's nice to have that variation um, in something. It's nice for it to, to kind of, you know, one minute something a bit mental is kicking off and then another minute, like, you know, like there's there's a bit of a lighter, uh, funnier moment. So, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, doing that it was nice having the the the, the variety and it, it 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 was it was nice that it fe- it never felt like it went too far one way or too far the other it, we always felt like it was keeping in that kind of middle ground it was never kind of falling off one end or the other and now with the movie um being released here in america this week um what's that experience like been as well and being able to share the movie here and um are you excited that fans can go see it in movie theaters or on vod and what's that experience been like of just really getting to share the movie um, with audiences as well yeah it's really exciting yeah I've, i don't i don't know of of uh, um another job that i've done that's that's had a uh, a uh, an American release that I've kind of been involved with and, and asked to, you know, kind of be involved with. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting. It's, it's going to be available on, on VOD and uh, iTunes, Amazon, anywhere you can buy uh, films really. Um, yeah. It's tomorrow. I think it's, it's June 18th, which is mm-hmm. yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah. Coming out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Just excited for everyone to be able to, to watch it. Mm-hmm. Also, um, while I was watching the film, um, at the end, it seemed like there might be like a potential for a sequel. Would you be interested in coming back and continuing the story as well? Definitely, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I would, I would definitely be be uh, be up for a, for a second installment. Mm-hmm. Love to see. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think that was mainly it. But thank you again for taking the time out. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Oh, amazing! No, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thanks again. Mm-hmm. Bye. See ya. Yeah. Mm-hmm.